teacher talking sports with those who do how we live in. While the NBA's trade deadline was three days ago, it's not the last of teams having the opportunity to improve their rosters as each and every year there is a buyout market now for players bought out of their contract waived uh, by March 1st. They can sign with a new team and be postseason eligible. Well, yes, yesterday brought the news of two fairly notable point guards, not just getting ready to join new teams, but join their hometown team. Let's get into it. This will be Adrian Rojanowski. This happened late last night. Charlotte Hornets guard Kyle Lowry has agreed on a contract buyout, clearing the way for him to sign with the Philadelphia 76ers upon clearing waivers. Mark Bartlestein of Priority Sports tells ESPN. So Kyle Lowry was involved in the deal that brought Terry Rozier from the Hornets to the Heat. Kyle Lowry went in that deal. Lowry has been away from the team since the deal happened, knowing that uh, he wasn't a part of their future. Now he has been bought out and will be joining the 76ers, his hometown team. And another notable point guard, Spencer Dinwiddie. This was announced uh, more in the afternoon. Yesterday, free agent guard Spencer Dinwiddie signed with the Los Angeles Lakers after clearing waivers Saturday, the team announced. Dinwiddie, a 30-year-old Los Angeles native, was traded from the Brooklyn Nets to the Raptors for Dennis Schroeder and Thaddeus Young on Thursday and subsequently waived by Toronto. Dinwiddie cleared waivers at 5 p.m. Eastern time Saturday. So again, another hometown point guard joining his new team in his hometown. Kyle Lowry, if we take a look at his numbers from this season, all with Miami, as I mentioned, he hasn't played with Charlotte. Uh, he's going to turn 38 years old in March, so one of the older players in the league's league, and uh, many of his averages were his lowest since his 2008-09 season. Did start 35 of his 37 games, but some games really didn't light up the box score at all. Uh, forget he was on the court. 8.2 points, 4 assists, 3.5 rebounds. Uh, did shoot 38.5% from 3-point territory, so a little above average on 4.4 attempts per game. So joining a Philly team, of course, with um, Tyrese Maxey as a starting point guard. They just traded Patrick Beverly to the Milwaukee Bucks, got Cameron Payne back in the deal. Payne's looked all right in his first two games, but uh, I guess with the postseason experience, they want to roll with Lowry as the backup point guard. We'll see how that goes. Spencer Dinwiddie, it's been announced that he uh, plans on joining the team Tuesday, so we don't know about Kyle Lowry yet. As I mentioned, it happened hmm, 10, 10.30 last night. It was announced he would be joining the 76ers, uh, but... Dinwiddie this season had not been an efficient scorer, 39.1% from the field, 32% from deep. I mean, a good well over 4-1 four, uh, four to assist-to-turnover ratio, uh, but wasn't one of his better seasons. Although, keep in mind that 2021-22 season, you see, he left Washington really struggling shooting the ball and then shot nearly 50% from the field after joining the Mavericks so maybe he just needs to be more engaged and maybe he does so with his hometown team of the Los Angeles Lakers uh, what are your thoughts about both of these moves uh, I should have mentioned the Lakers um, start D'Angelo Russell at point guard who's been playing much better of late but remember there was a time last postseason where it was hard to even play him in the postseason. He was struggling so much. Uh, Gabe Vincent was signed to be the backup point guard, and he has been hurt much of the season. Not expected to return until sometime in March. Um, Dinwiddie, of course, about eight years younger, seven and a half years younger than Kyle Lowry. So you figure he might still have more in the tank, although, well, I'm sorry, he turns 31 on April 6th, so he's about seven years older than Lowry, uh, but Lowry does bring veteran leadership to a 76ers team, where hopefully Joel Embiid gets back for the postseason, 
Buddy Heald in his first two games has looked awesome for the 76ers. And right now, the 76ers are fifth in the East, and the Lakers are ninth in the West. I mean, still just only a game and a half ahead of the Jazz for 11th and three and a half games behind the Suns for that six seed that gets them out of the play-in. But again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Dinwiddie to the Lakers, Lowry to the 76ers. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications on that.